Hello again, everyone. A uh, bit pre preoccupied at the moment. We are off on a cruise at the weekend. Hopefully, the last one we had to cancel because my husband was in hospital. So we're finger f keeping our fingers crossed that all goes well for this one. But we're going to Iceland and uh, France and uh, Ireland and Norway. So it's going to be chilly and trying to think what clothes we need and it's been a, a bit of a nightmare so I say my um, my mind is a little preoccupied but I thought we'd have a bit of fun today and I dug out I haven't used these dies before um the bird cage from gummy a pan and a chubby little chappy to sit inside and uh I thought <laughs> I'd dig out a little friend for him I found um I don't know where this came from um a cat. So the cat's going to sit at the bottom of my card. I'm going to suspend the uh, the bird cage from a piece of cord, I think, from the top. We're going to put this little chap, well, not that, the, 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 the card piece, behind. And I thought, just as a little bit of a background, I, I'd use another gummy pan um, product, which is this just number stencil. So I thought what I'd do is have a few of those numbers just sort of cascading behind like that just to give a little bit of texture a little bit of interest just with homemade embossing paste leave it to dry I hope I can finish the card I hope that the embossing paste will dry enough for me to do it but we'll see but I'm going to start with that to give it you know a fighting ch a fighting chance of uh, of getting dry and to be able so that I can finish so I just get a um, palette knife Here's my embossing paste. I just want to put a little. I think that'll do. Okay. I will just wipe this off. the easiest thing to make this embossing paste it's just acrylic paint you can use any color you like white school glue talcum powder or cornstarch and water so there's my letters my number should i say and they rather they look rather lovely look I'm just going to leave them white isn't that lovely can you see love it i'll just wipe this off i'll give it a proper wash later but just wipe it off a little bit so I thought I'd have the little bird uh, yellow and I've dug out some of these uh, Nouveau markers, alcohol markers, in various yellow tones and we'll, we'll see how we, <coughs> excuse me, see how we go. Right, I've got two here, two layers and his nose is there, the second nose. So I thought, I thought I'd make that prop perhaps a little bit, a slightly different colour. So, um, these are the yellows that I have. I think I might start with a really pale one. Sweet vanilla. I used this the other day, didn't I? I'm going to put this all over as a base. I found with, the, with these... Um, markers particularly they do better with a light color underneath let's have a look at the yellows this butterscotch that's quite bold and bright sunflower hay bale butternut squash is too much indian saffron what shall we go with let's have um Bits of Indian saffron. Is it here? Yes, here it is. Let me just he's cutie. Bright sunflower. Let's put a little bit of this on the other side here. Yeah, that's gone quite nicely. 
Now I'm going to have to re-emphasize his um, eyes uh, because with the color on it, it was a bit lost. What's this one? Tiger Lily, does Tiger Lily look a reasonable color? Yes, yeah, I'm going to put this for his nose. There it is. Now, a little glue just in his nose. Yeah. And I'll find my tweezers to try and get it in. There we are. Lovely. Okay. Now let's just do a little bit of jelly roll. I've got one here. Just to put where the eyes were again. I'm just putting the tip of the jelly roll into the indentation that the dye has given for, for his eyes. Wait for that to dry for a moment or two. Look at me putting have a row in that. Well, that's a bit of luck. Bet somebody was saying you've put those things right on top of your embossing. Right, now what I thought I'd do with this chap is to paint it to try and get it to look like um, metal. So, I don't know where all these came from. Put them down, down there. Okay, I have got some um, pearlized paints here, metallic paints. So, um, if I just get a paintbrush, I've got some water. Uh, <laughs> where's a nice little brush? This one will do, I think. Okay. Put that back. And I think we will go with maybe this silvery one here. Let's see. If I don't like it, I can always put an extra layer over the top and start again. I'm going to have my hair done this afternoon as well, so it's all a little bit go, go, go. Not quite enough thickness of paint there. I want it fairly strong. Let's keep going. I haven't even bothered to use a palette. I'm just taking it straight from the cake. Not bad. It's not accepting the paint incredibly well. Perhaps give it another coat in a moment. It seems to work better once it's got sort of moistened a little rather than just the initial bit of water. Let me just hold that still with some tweezers. It's such this dye really surprised me. It looked so much nicer once it was um, cut from the shape of the, of the of that it just looks a bit i don't know chunky but of course when it's cut the fi the filaments are much finer and it looks just lovely okay just wipe this mat Now, is that dry enough for me to put his eyes on? Hopefully. There's a nice pattern. Mm. This one probably do. Just try it on a bit of scrap first of all. Yeah. Now that the... the um, <laughs> the problem is, when I put him in the cage, I want to try and make sure 
that you can actually see his eyes. So I think I should be able to manage it, don't you? Now, what I'd like to do is to suspend this from the top of the card. So the thing to do is to just get a bit of cord. That's, I don't know what, this is, what type of thread this is. Just cut a piece off. And then we'll thread it through. The, it's still a bit wet, this is as well. So, never mind, we'll be fine. Thread it through here. There we go. And then this. Oh, would you believe? I think I've got some a dirty mark on there now. Mm, water. Water, water. Let me see if I can get it off. I start with because I'm trying to rush. I've got things. Oh, it's gone. Oh, that's a relief. What a relief. Right. How's this doing for getting dry? Doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't feel too bad now. How am I going to attach this? I think what I'm going to do is put a trail of glue around the side there, around the side there. Um, but first I'm going to put a glue dot in each of these corners. Where's my small glue dot? Here it is. A small glue dot in each corner. One there. And one there. And I think I'm going to get one right here, just behind that, the top of the... Let's see if I can get it in the right place. See what I'm doing. Okay. Right there. Okay. Right. Now, he has got to go behind. I think what I will do is I'll put him on first and then arrange the um, cage over him. I don't think, because I don't necessarily want any that to be stuck to him. I'm going to put him on just a bit of foam tape, just a, a smidgen. Okay, he looks cute, doesn't he? His eyes have really lit up since I put the black and white on. Now, where's my cat? Here he is. Let's give the cat a bit of a bit of shape. Just with my embossing tool. That is quite dry now. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, and we'll put some foam tape behind him as well, or her, as the case may be. There we go. So let's put the cat on and see where the cat's going to go. See how high up then the the cat can go here. Head on one side, partially looking up. Okay, now we'll put old Tweety Pie here. Let's just see. 
about there, I would say. Right. Now we'll put one there. Where's his eyes? I don't think I'm going to bother with the other bits of glue. I think the glue dots are going to do the job quite nicely. There we go. Oh, not quite straight. Not quite straight. That's just... Okay. I think that's a bit better. Okay. This is going to go over the back. And um, just going to put a bit of adhesive like this on the back. Oops. On the back. Fancy to have "Hello, friend" as the as the um, the sentiment on this. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Um, probably a stamp, but we will see. Don't normally like to put the the foam tape over the um, cord because it makes the um, it's thicker anyway because of. Um, it's on the other side as well, and you get kind of a, a wave in the in the card on the, pa the panel. There we go. We're nearly there. I will try and find a hello friend. If I can't find one, I will do it on the computer and just cut it out and stick it on. But there we go. A quick card. I hoped it hoped it was going to be quick, and it hasn't been exactly slow has it not my normal but either way it was quite cute i chose the the um color of the of the cord to link in with the color of the cage and the cat so we will say we're nearly there right just a bit of glue stick just so that if I don't get it quite in the right place first to go I can um, remove it and put it on again right let's have a look make sure my card's opening at the bottom that's it there we go there that's quite fun isn't it there we go. I wonder if the cat's counting to the, counting the, the seconds until it can pounce. So, um, th thank you so much for, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for giving me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And um, look out for the finished card if you want to see it in close up on the community tab of my YouTube channel on Instagram and my Facebook page. Thanks a lot.